Okay, configuration. This is basically what it is, and what do you, yeah? Um, I found that the, the Wi Fi is pretty terrible, so the only solution for me was to connect the Wi Fi bridge, this one. This one over here. It's one of the cheapest that I found, it's around $30 on eBay. And basically, it, what it does is to act as a client bridge for the Ethernet port on the UIA. So, all, basically, almost all the connections are used. This is the power, this is the Ethernet connected to the, to the bridge, and to the USB port is connected a, a USB hub, a switch, where I just connected this one, that's the uh, RF dongle for the for the remote control and the other port is used for the power or the or the bridge. Um, with this configuration the uh, the streaming is possible otherwise with the built-in Wi-Fi it's basically a no-go. I found that the the maximum speed that I was able to achieve was around uh, I had a peak of almost one megabyte per second but normally the speed is around 300 kilobytes to 500 kilobytes per second that's uh, basically uh, a waste of time if you're trying to you know stream something especially HD content over the network okay Okay, let's start with these uh, with the XBMC. Let's go into software. I've already launched XBMC, so it's uh, yeah in background, and I'm using Eonox uh, as the scheme, and as you can see, it's really fast. Let's go into movies and let's try uh, to play some videos, some HD videos. Start with 300. It's a this is a 720p video and the size is roughly 2.5 gigabytes. And it starts almost right away, and it is really smooth as well. Um, one of the problems that I that some people complained about was the uh, slowness of the of the skip function. Let's try it then. Let's keep ahead. No, assistant. Let's try it again. Yep. It's it goes, it skips instantly. So it pretty much depends on uh, the size of the file, the size of the video, the bitrate. So uh, in case of yep, instant. In case of really big uh, or high bit rates of really big videos, of course, it has to buffer again and depending on the speed of the, of the connection it takes, it can take a few seconds. In this case, it's, it's instant. Okay, stop. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, this time a 1080p video. Oops. Um, let's try Avatar. That's um yeah, 1080p video, 12.5 gigabytes uh, inside, and yep, yeah, good. It starts in a couple of seconds, and it's smooth as well. And I tried before the skip ahead function, and it's not instant on this video. Uh, it takes three four seconds because the because the bigger size and the higher bit rate. Um, but yeah, it plays. Uh, the playback is perfect. Mm, by the way, I'm using a shared library. Um, it's a huge library with a uh, almost 800 videos. That there are not uh, not all of the videos are physically present, but this is an old backup of a of an old library that I had. And, uh, yeah, so it loads. Uh, yeah, literally, yeah, loads of <laughs> of uh, 
um, medias of titles and posters and uh, yeah, fun art. So it takes a little bit. And that's why sometimes the posters are not shown or there are some other glitches. Uh, and it's because it's it, everything is pulled from the network. Doesn't feel like secure. Yeah. Well, Good. Okay. Let's try some other functions. And one of the, uh, one of the other things that I that I used on the on my PC with XBMC on was the live TV. And I'm on my NAS. I installed TV head and uh, the server. I mean, and I'm using the XBMC add-on for TV head end. I think uh, I left it as you can see, it works. Actually, on this release uh, of XBMC, it is marked as broken, but no. using it. Let's try it on the wall. Let's interlace the video, otherwise, there is the combing effect. Well. Okay. Let's try another channel. Um, yeah, any, yeah, any channel is fine. Yeah. Okay. Now back to some other stuff. Um, programs. Yeah. From here, you can launch any application or programs and including uh, the Android applications. Uh, for example, any game that you download with you, yeah, like this one, that's the only one that I downloaded so far, can be launched from here. And yeah, but in this case I would like to try another, yeah, Netflix. Yep, this one is the Netflix for Android. So with its limitations and its quality, it's not the best. Not all the options that you have normally using it on your browser, on your PC, but it works. Let's try to continue watching yeah, one of the games, this one. And it takes a while to, to buffer enough for uh, having a a decent quality of the video, but uh, yeah, after a minute or so, the yeah, there's decent quality. It is really bad now, but it's improving by the second. And yeah, you also have some options like. Uh, choice of the language or closed captions. Uh, uh, you can pause and yeah. Yeah. It all works. Let's try something. Yep, yeah. YouTube. Another Android application. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Any videos for this one? Just a little wait. Uh,
good. Back to programs, I wanted to show you an emulator. This is made for Droid Reloaded. And I have just a couple of ROMs here uh, to, to test it with. And I've just uh, configured it to, um, to remove to hide the overlay uh, for the touch controls because you, of course, are not using any, any touch controls in the area, uh, but you use the OUYA pad. That's working right out of the box. Uh, this is a really old game, so 1980 probably. And it requires, of course, uh, little to no uh, computing power for newer ROMs. Probably, I don't know, maybe results will, will differ and the speed wouldn't be the same, but. Nonetheless, it is nice to have this option. Yeah. Let's get out of it. Uh, yes. So basically, any any of these applications can be can become a favorite, and once they're favorites, you can put them into the main menu. So basically, you could have together with these other items like videos, live TV programs. You could have, for for instance, YouTube or uh, Main for Droid. The yeah. only problem is that with this version of XVMC, there's a bug. So if you launch a favorite, it does nothing. Uh, you have to go. You have to go through programs. But in the the next versions, it will be fixed. So uh, thanks for watching.